Hey, this is Robert Manning Jr. with Alpha and Omega Productions. And I'm back again. Excuse my voice. Uh, I think it's allergies, hopefully, and not crazy sickness. Um, so this is a test update with the Blackmagic RAW and the Cinema DNG files. Um, so I've been working with them the last couple of days, and, and so I decided to check uh, multiple discs to see the lowest speeds where I could play Blackmagic RAW and CNT. C, D, and G, Cinema D, and G. Um, here's the list of external drives and internal drives that I used. And I used the Blackmagic speed test to test the speed for all these drives. Um, all the information is in this text, so if you want to mute my voice and not listen, you don't have to. You can just read. Um, C, D, and G, or Blackmagic RAW, Q0, both at 4.6K. I did 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and then I did 120 at 1080p, um, three gigabyte test file. Um, and so these are the various speeds and, and the results. So Blackmagic RAW played 24, 60, 120, right off the CFAST card. Um, the RAW played Blackmagic RAW and Cinema DNG played 24, 60, and 120. External RAID drive that I have. Um, Black Magic Raw played at 24, 60, and 120. C, D, and G did not play without stuttering at 24 and 60. Um, I did the internal drive, um, which is much slower. Um, Black Magic Raw played um, and C, D, and G played. Um, internal 7200 drive. Black Magic Raw played at 24 and 60 frames per second. C, D, and G stuttered badly. Um, everything played at 120 frames per second at 1080p. Now, I do have an editing drive on my computer. I didn't use that because it's so fast and it didn't really make sense because everybody, everything plays on that drive. Um, the camera metadata for frames per second is incorrect for B-RAW. Um, so that's interesting. Bit depth, bit depth is reported at 16 for B-RAW and 12 for Cinema DNG. And the colors are not accurate with the B-RAW files. And I'll show you right after this. Um, I know this is quick, but all files are available for download. So you can check for yourself. So here you can see, um, these are the 24 frames per second files. This is the B-RAW file. And this toy, it is not red here. It is actually orange. Um, and this is, happens with all the B-RAW files. Um, the colors aren't quite accurate. Cinema DNG files, this is exactly how it looks to my eye. Um, so these are accurate. And you can see um, down here below, the bit depth is reported as 16 for the B-RAW files and 12 for the Blackmagic design files. Um, which I found also interesting. Is it really 16? Is the bit depth 16 or is it 12? Um, and so, yeah, I just go through the files here. I'll show you the color differences. Um, frames per second is also not reported accurately with the B raw files. Um, it says um, here, these are 24 frames per second files, but when we move to the high frame rate files, um, the frames per second is incorrect for the B raw files. And that's probably just a beta thing. Um, I'm wondering if the 16-bit depth is a beta thing, or are these files 16? Is the bit depth 16? I don't know. So these are the high frame rate files. Um, again, the colors are not accurate. They're pretty, and they're beautiful, but not accurate. Um, and again, the frames per second, camera frames per second, it says 24 here. Um, it's actually 60 frames per second. This was shot at 60 frames per second. And if you download this file, you will see that it's at 60 frames per second. And then if the Cinema DNG shot at 60 frames per second, um, it actually shows up in the metadata as 60 frames per second. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else is um, kind of the same. These are short files. The last time I uploaded files, they were longer and obviously it took a long time to download um, if you chose to do so. Um, the 1080p file is at, at 120 frames per second played on any drive. Um, the noise is crazy with the 1080p um, 120. I never really used those. Um, this is my son eating a croissant, or croissant, as he says, at two years old. Now three, I think, as of yesterday. Yes. Yes, I think. Like, he's not mine. Um, <laughs> um, but the B-RAW files, um, again, the frames per second doesn't report accurately. And so those are the only kind of glitch things. I'm really curious about this 16-bit depth, um, if that's accurate um, or not. Uh, but please, download the files. 
Uh, check everything else out. And this is Robert Manny Jr. with Alpha and Omega Films signing off. I'm not sitting on the couch this time. I'm sitting in the office staring at this computer. Take care. Bye.